All right, y'all, good morning, good morning, good morning. A lot of fishing TV is here. We about to have some good old fishing fun. But what we are doing is fishing in a familiar spot. I would say this spot is very familiar with a lot of fishing TV. I would say maybe five years of, uh, of being familiar. I'm pretty sure y'all know what this is. And every time I come to this spot, my mindset is to fish with shrimp because I know that this place produce decent fish when I'm using the good old shrimp. Now, for all you newcomers, for all the people that's just now tuning in to a lot of fishing TV, won't you subscribe, click that bell, and let's get this party started. I'm going to show you all how I get down. All right, so when dealing with shrimp, all I need literally is just a pair of scissors nothing fancy I don't use I don't really use knives when I'm doing this just because it's not really that necessary to have a knife we're gonna do is cut off the head and cut these in half now I'm not gonna use a bunch of big chunks today we're gonna just use these right here just like this go into the skin come out the other side and as long as we got some hook exposed bam that hook is sharp nothing on the tip of that we're gonna cast it we're going to see what happens. And there we have it. Got him. Ooh wee, that fish feel good on that Mad Cat's medium rod. Yes, it does. Woo. Ooh wee, man, little guy, nothing serious. We got one though, so if we wanted to take some eaters home, this would be the ideal size to take. There we go. Haha. <laughs> My dog is tripping on the on the fish. Oh look, that fish! Look, that hook came right out of his mouth. But here go the skin of the shrimp little channel cat we got all right see nice little guy perfect eating size if you wanted to take a couple home um i'm very close to one to take some fish home i'm not sure but i think it's gonna be a pretty much of a good day so i ain't gonna stress it right now it could be a last minute decision but let's just get this little guy back in he's definitely around two and a half pounds there you go. And he's out of here. That's what I'm talking about. Jax, are you understanding that this is fishing now? Because I'm noticing you barking at the fish now instead of running from the fish. Reel down and we have us a fish. Got him. Yeah. Yes, sir. Little guy, he wanted that. Oh, did he get off or he's swimming towards me? Oh, I think he got off. No, he's there. He must be a, or is he? Dang, this dude's little then. Little bitty guy. A eater size. Look at that. All right, see? Man, he walking away from it. But here we have a real small channel catfish. Bit that shrimp. This is perfect eating size right here. This, you can't beat this. Now this starting to make me feel like I might have to take a couple to the crib. Just because these are good eating size right here. Yeah, when they like this, I do this. You know what I'm saying? This is not a bad deal right here. So let's put this in the bucket. Look at him going crazy. He is going, he loves his mind. And I always never bring towels when I go fishing, which is crazy. But what we're gonna do is get this shrimp back out here. I'm gonna show you all exactly what he done. Look at this. This is that shrimp the little guy wanted right here. Um, is it good enough to go back on the hook? Yes, it is. Look at that. I just threw that shrimp out there too. So what I'm gonna do is just hook it up at the spot, didn't rip through, which is nice and tough. Hook is still sharp, nothing on the tip of that hook. Let's get a cast back on these medium rods right here. 
And my dog is driving me crazy with all the barking. Ain't that right, Jack? And it's out. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Boy, I love these rods, man. They got a, man, just a good funky feel. You talk about a medium rod that can throw a 10 ounce sinker. That's, you can't beat that. You cannot beat that. Look at that. Now it looks like to me he swallowed the hook and that's not a good thing. So with that being said, I'm gonna have to cut the hook out of his mouth and still take him for table fare because he's a little guy and plus the hook is in his mouth really good. So I don't wanna just mess around with that and get this out of his mouth. And there we go. So another little guy, perfect eating size. This is what, this is what you want when you take the slabs off the side of a catfish. So let's go ahead and throw that in the bucket. We got two good eating sizes right there. Gotta keep my hands wiped. I might have to take off my, my beater and use that as a towel. But I think I found where they land off at. It's a bunch of little ones. And y'all stay tuned. Look at that action. Look at that. Oh, he's on there. And I'm about to get him. Yes, there he go. <laughs> oh boy, these medium rods are fun, dude. See, I don't fish with medium rods very often. And when I mean not often, I mean it's an extreme rare occasion that you will see me fish with a medium rod. Yeah, it's very off. It's, it's not often at all that I fish with medium rods. You know, I'm always medium heavy no matter what the situation is, but I figured I wanted to give Mad Cat rods a try. And I'm just loving what I'm loving it all. I'm loving it all, man. More of a decent channel cat. Definitely not the size of the other ones, but they're not big, of course, but he's bigger than the last three that I caught. Still little though, but that's usually what's gonna happen right here. Now here you go going crazy about another fish. You ain't gonna do nothing. Jacks ain't gonna do nothing. He think he's about that life, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, look at him. He's an angry male. And that 4.40 mad catter hook. Look at that. Four point I four point four eye mad catter hook. Look at that. That thing stays sharp and it's a beast. I love it. It's perfect for these channel cats. This one is on the skinnier side, but he's definitely looking like a spawning male. Look how thin he is. This supposed to, oh. Well, he got what he asked for. Sometimes those things happen to the best of us. Just let that rookie feeling seep through your soul and <laughs> hope it never happen again. <laughs> Reel down and we have them. Yes. Take a few of these eaters to the crib. Look at that. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is all eater size today. That's what I'm talking about. Getting these good smaller channel cats making 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 dinner looking fantastic right here yes sir look at that another little guy hey i'm not mad at this you know what i'm saying can't be upset with this and there you go acting tough you see a fish what you know about this fish Jax? look at that circle hook get that out of his mouth yeah buddy he think he's about that life they go to shrimp right there, as you can see. And here go another little guy. I'm gonna show him this. And I wanna see how he react. No, come on. See? Get. 
catfish back. We got three catfish so far. And I think I'm gonna take about another one and that should be it. But then again, I have a son at home that's what three years old and probably can eat more fish than I can in one setting. So <laughs> who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? All right, here we go. I think he's on there. All right, let's get, let's see. Give him a little second to get that rod tip down. He's working that bait. It came out of his mouth. Oh, there you go. He's on there. There you go. Let a little guy. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Or did it get out? Making my job a little easier on me. And another little eater size. Perfect though. What a eating day. clearly see that we have another little one and this one got a full belly as you can see another little oh that fin was short there you go look at that look at that that fin is broke so he was poking me with it and the other side is not that sharp but another little guy perfect eater four slabs well four little catfish because if these were slabs they'd be like five six pounds <laughs> i think there's a fish on this thing my rod fell down on the ground man i just looked up and i heard my rod let's see if he's on there because i didn't know if he oh yeah this is a decent one Yo, there you go. Bam. And I looked up. Ah, uh, it's not that big. Nah. Yeah, he might. Nah, he looked like he about the same. Maybe. Nah, he might be the biggest one. He might be. The, uh, we had a male before that had a big head, but this one might be more dense in weight. But he's still. But it's still a good home. A good dinner look at that i really want them a tad bit smaller than this might be a little bit bigger maybe the same size but there you have it let's get him in the water and he's gone all right let's get up here and get some more shrimp on that rod and get another one now there's nothing wrong with that fish that's a good eating size right there that was about a good solid three and a half pounds right there good fish but you know if it's it's got to be kind of like three and under for me you know what i'm saying just when you start getting into this warm water catfish trust me you don't want you don't want bigger ones you know what i'm saying you get a lot of people say well you know it all depends on how you you know prepare it i get all that that's got to do with flavor that has nothing to do with what the fish is eating on in this heat you know a lot of the bait becomes scarce but they do eat a lot of crawdad around this time though so you know, when it's hot and you fishing, you know, rivers like I'm fishing, you get shrimp because it's the closest thing to a crawdad. And they feed good on that, especially the smaller ones. But yeah, let's get another bait out here on here. Look at that. Come on. Look at that rod tip. Come on. Yeah. I think he's on there. I think he's on there. Oh, yeah, he's there. Yep. He was there. Come on. Little guy. He male, dude. <laughs> dude, what is... Oh, man. This is a spawning male. Wow. This is an actual spawning little male. Dude, you can tell he's spawning because I want to show y'all something. Look at the scars on him. Dude, he's down there battling. Yes, look at this. Whoa, look at the battle scars. Them are spawn marks. You don't usually see tiny channel cats going through that. Look at that. Man, my bait had to be right in his face. Look at that. Spawn marks. I'm going to let him go. I'm going to let him go. He was hungry, and that bait must have just been sitting right in his face. Dang. Let's get him out of here. Man, dude. <laughs> fish 
Looking like he might be on. Come on. Come on. I seen that line slack up. See if he's still there messing around with that uh, shrimp down there. Nope, nope, nope. He's still there. He's still there. He is still there. I'm about to just reel down on him. And there he go. There he go. Yeah, he thought he would mess playing around. Look at that. Yeah, come on. Come on. But shrimp is really good when you're trying to get those eater sizes. Now, if I came out here with shad or something like that, I'd probably be getting a uh, much bigger channel cats. But I wanted to fish with some shrimp because I wanted to take a few of these good eaters home. Like, look at this. See? Another male right here. He was hungry. He's got a wide head. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. And they feisty too, but you know, that's how they are. See? Skinny. Nice. Look at that, see? I can't tell you how many times I didn't drop the channel cat today. I think I dropped like three of them. Hmm. But what we gonna do? Look at him. He think he's stronger than me. But we gonna take this one. Look at that clean, thin filet right there. That's gonna be a good crispy sandwich. Look at him. I can't even get him in a bucket. Yo, come on, man. So we got five of them so far. I think I'm gonna take a couple more. I was gonna boil it down to two, but you know what? Since we are getting into these eater sizes pretty good, um, I haven't stocked up my freezer with any um, catfish as of recently. Um, I still like my catfish. You know, um, I just like it in colder weather. But when I am fishing for them in heat, they have no choice but to be small because I just don't deal with no channel cats over three pounds, none whatsoever, when it come down to warm weather. It's just that simple. Got him, got him, got him. Ooh, this feels like a better one. Oh, yeah. This feels like a better one. Not a big one. Let's get that. I want to make sure I make that clear. Not a big one. A better one. Nothing that I would keep, obviously. But definitely a good channel cat. Yeah, that's definitely one I wouldn't keep. Oh, look at that. That's a good, that's a good cat right there. You can see that. Good cat right there. Definitely about five pounds, but look, his head's so big, and I can just imagine that if he was eating uh, good, he would be much bigger in terms of weight. He's thin, man. He's a thin channel cat, and that's because he's in spawn right now. And that's what happens during spawning, man. This is why they eat, this is why they eat real good in the springtime so that when they go in the spawn, they have a lot of food to hold them off. Ooh, look at his lip, his lip is broken. Yeah, that's, look at that, that's all spawn battles. Look at that, look at his mouth. His mouth broken half, dude, and he still was hungry. Ooh, these channel cats are relentless. Look at his mouth. His mouth broken in half, dude. And he got battle scars, yep. That's what spawn do, man. He don't look like he got no, he don't got spawn marks on his body. But, you know, spawn marks can be anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Just with, look at that. Whoo, what did he get into it with? Into the water. I don't want to give him a little toss and then slap him on the rocks. He's a little bit bigger. All right, he's gone. That's what I'm talking about. See, like I said, that rod on the right is still not getting a bite. So what I'm going to do is wipe my hands off. And what I'm going to end up doing is adjusting these rods because these rods both need to get bites they both need to get bit it's that simple i'm not about to just watch one get a bite and the other one just sit there uh oh 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 oh he buried that rod man i have both rods getting a bite right now Look like a little fish on that right one. <laughs> little dude. Man, he fought. Man, this dude fought like a soldier. Here go another good skinny one that I like to take. Look at that. He went on a diet. 
Look at that. See what I'm talking about? That's what they do during spawn. They are just angry. They are angry little dudes during spawn. Uh-oh. I think we got another fish on, though. Uh, look at him. He look. See, one thing about fish, man, they got good senses, dude. Like, he can sense that water over there, so he's literally so... And my dog barking like crazy. Uh-oh. I think we got a fish on this rod right here. I think we do. Let me roll this down. Let's see if he's there. Oh, he's there. I think it's a little guy, is it? Yeah, there you go. Oh, yes, he was. He was way out there. This is my dog barking like crazy, y'all. Oh, yeah, he's way out there. Man, he came up to the surface like that? So we got two channel cats. Look like they good to go. That channel cat ain't gonna do nothing to you. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. This one was more aggressive. And he didn't get the bait in his mouth completely. This one is a little bit too big right here. Yeah, this is definitely way bigger than what I want. Let's get him up here. Woo. Yeah, this is way bigger than what I want. Yeah, I don't want to take this one. As you can see, this one is a hefty dude. Not the ones I want. There. Thick old thing. Not huge. This is definitely four pounds though. But that's what I'm talking about right here. I would give it four and a half. It's, it's almost pushing five because this is a hefty something. But yeah, look, belly. We're gonna get rid of her. I'm gonna try to, uh, oh yeah, it's good. And she's out and we're gonna take this little one and put it in the bucket because this is the ones we want to take home with us. These are the eater size that we want. These mad catters, these mad catters and those reaper hooks are really doing some justice today. I love them. Right, here we go. So once again, we got sticky fingers. And what happens when you get stinky fingers? Gotta wipe them off and rebate. All right, y'all, so we are about to leave. All I wanted to do was just have a good time with some shrimp, me and my doggy. That's all I wanted to do, man. It's nothing like it. But in my personal opinion, like if you really want the best eating size fish, shrimp is the way to go. I mean, you can use your, uh, your manufactured dip baits you can use, you know, homemade concoctions. You can use all kinds of things. But, you know, just my experience with fishing for channel catfish especially, shrimp has always been one of those things that really get those eater sides going. So if you out and you want to really, really, really dig into some good eaters, I'm telling you, use shrimp. Especially when you fishing in the summertime, you know, that is a good bait because those crawdads, they run. And the closest thing to one of those are shrimp. So you already know what it is. Like I always say, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. See you next time. Hey, looking for more content? Well, please subscribe. Also like us on Facebook. And always remember, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Thank you for watching.